so today I wanted to do kind of a roundup sort of video of these twistable lip pencils that we are seeing from so many brands this season at the drugstore. So I don't have all of them that are available on the market. I know that Rimmel just came out with one like this past week, but a lot of brands are rolling these out for 2014 spring collections, and I do have a few new releases that I wanted to share my opinions on. Some of these I already have reviewed on SlashedBeauty.com, so if any of these products have a corresponding review, then I will put the link in the description below so you can find out a little bit more information about specific items. But in this video, I'm just kind of going to go over the pros and cons of certain brands version of the twistable lip pencil. And because there are so many and I only have two arms and I'm wearing a sweater today. I'm not going to swatch in the video, but I'll have swatches on the blog and I'll put the link below. So one of the first twistable lip stains that we saw at the drugstore were the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stains. These were all the rage. They were really the first drugstore twistable lip pencil that we really saw take off. So the original that I have is in the color Cherish, which is a light pink. And then we recently saw a re-release of this, but in the lacquered or matte versions. So the original Just Bittens were a little bit in between, I guess you could say. They weren't exactly glossy, but they weren't exactly matte, and they did have a little bit of a sheen on them. The lacquer bomb that I have that I picked up is the color Enticing, which is a blue-based red, and it's got a little bit of shimmer particles in it, but that doesn't really translate to the lips very much. Because it's from the lacquer side of the line, it does have a glossy sheen, but I did notice that throughout the day, as it kind of dried down or set, it ended up feeling more matte on my lips as the day went on. I was actually really disappointed in the wear time of this, um, maybe like four hours before it started fading, and if you ate, like that was it, you're done. Um, I noticed that a lot of reviews said the mattes were super long wear, so if you were thinking of which one you should get, um, if you really want something that's gonna last all day you might want to stick to the matte side of the collection because I was a little bit disappointed on how many times I had to reapply this throughout the day. Another addition to the drugstore twistable lip pencil market are the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. So these come in eight different colors and all colors are named after like some kind of fruit and then the pencil smells like that kind of fruit. It actually is really pleasant but it doesn't linger around so don't worry about that. Now these aren't stains and they don't offer that much pigment so I mean these are really kind of like a glorified tinted lip balm and they're in the pencil format. I, oh, I keep dropping them. <laughs> I would say these are for someone who likes more subtle hints of color or subtle washes of color on the lips and they want to keep their lips hydrated. Now because the pigment on these are not really in your face or that bold, the color does tend to fade a little bit faster than a lot of other lip pencils. I would say maybe two hours and if you eat like, you know, that's not going to hold up throughout a meal, but I do like these for just lazy days where you just want to do something subtle and they do feel really great on the lips, they don't catch on any dry skin, and they really do moisturize. Another thing to consider with the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks is that although they are really subtle, they all contain a little bit of shimmer particles, so you probably wouldn't be able to see. They are super small, but they're there. So just for your information. This next pencil I picked up during the Black Friday Walgreens sale. That is how crazy I went on Black Friday. I went to Walgreens. So this is the Jordana Twist and Shine Twistable Balm Stain. These have been raved about. They are only like $3, and this is in the color Cranberry Crush, the specific one that I picked out. And I think this is probably the darkest um, in the entire collection. And it's like a deep cranberry color. And I really, really like this. It feels so moisturizing on the lips. It doesn't seep into any cracks or nooks and crannies. And the stain lasts a while. I've probably gone about five hours with this on without having to reapply, which is really, really great, I think, for a drugstore lippy. Next up are a much anticipated balm stain, and this was from Wet n Wild, the Mega Slicks Balm Stain Moisturizing Lip Colors. So I have the colors Ready or Not, which is obviously the red one, and then Lady and the Vamp is the more purpley one, and I'm actually wearing Lady and the Vamp right now. These are probably 
the cheapest pencils in this entire video and probably the cheapest ones that you'll find in the drugstore. I get a longer wear out of this than I do from the Revlon one and it's more than half off the price. Now one thing that I did notice with Lady and the Vamp, and you can see it on my lips right now, it's like a red plummy kind of color, but as time goes on and the color fades away but the stain is left behind, the stain is actually a lot of a lighter berry color, which is really strange because ready or not, the stain is very true to the color that's first applied. And other people that I've talked to who have different shades in the collection say that the stain stays true to the original shade. So it sucks because Lady and the Vamp is such a beautiful color and it's probably one that I would wear a lot if I knew that it would stay that color throughout the day instead of changing on me. So if you were to pick any of these up I'd probably skip Lady in the Vamp and find another darker lip pencil that works for you. The reason why the Wet n Wild Balm Stains are probably my favorite so far out of the drugstore twistable pencil releases is because of the staying power of the color. I mean, I've had meals wearing these and afterwards I'll look in my compact and I don't need to reapply. Of course, it will be maybe a little bit less vibrant, but I still have a full wash of color on my lips and I feel like I'm okay going out like this. I don't need to put on more product. I'm one of those people who constantly like rub my lips together and I'm constantly snacking on stuff. So if it can get me through like a Korean barbecue dinner, which Lady in the Vamp did, that's crazy to me and for that I'm definitely going to be picking up more of these. Okay, lastly I want to talk about a pencil that I just picked up uh, two weeks ago I think and it is the NYC City Proof Twistable Intense Lip Color. I was really excited to try these because NYC just came out with so many really intriguing new products. I know they discontinued one of their old lip lines and they just came out with new lipsticks and these twistable lip pencils. Now I did pick up a lighter pink color and I do have a hard time finding light pinks that show up pigmented on me, although the Revlon one in Cherish does show up because I have darker skin, my lips are a little bit more dark as well, Cherish does show up. This I had a little bit of a hard time getting to be like opaque and I don't think it ever really got opaque. So it is one of those pencils that you really need to work at building up for color or at least for me. You might have a completely different experience if you have lighter skin than I do. Now I am still curious about how some of the other shades perform so I kind of want to go out and get a couple more but for right now I just have this one and when I put it on the first time it felt pretty moisturizing but I noticed not but 20 minutes later when I looked in the mirror that it started falling into the creases in my lips as well as really highlighting the dry patches on my lips which was really unfortunate and because it's a lighter color they were so obvious and it just looked so bad. Now these do not claim to be balms so after a while they do kind of start feeling dry on the lips but they're not balms, so you can't really expect much in the moisturizing department, but when you first put them on, they do feel pretty comfortable. I believe these were like a dollar more than the Wet n Wild balm stains, so if I were going back and forth, I would honestly choose Wet n Wild's, um, but like I said, I can't speak for the other shades in this collection, and I do want to pick up some more and do a more in-depth review since I just got this. But right now, I'm not impressed. So that was my collection of drugstore twistable lip pencils. I'd love to hear what your favorite twistable lip pencil release has been, whether it be last year or this year for the new spring collections. So let me know below in the comments what has been your favorite collection and maybe what you plan on picking up later. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I really appreciate it. And I just want to say, you guys, I just reached 1,000 subscribers this past week. And I had known it was coming because I get email notifications every time I get a subscriber. So each time anybody subscribes, I see you, I, I know that you're there. And I just hit 1,000, which maybe doesn't seem like a lot compared to other YouTubers you watch, but to me, it's, it means the world. And I'm just so grateful that you guys come here and you tune in and you listen to what I have to say. And it's just amazing to me. I'm hoping to film a lot more this year. Once again, thanks so much. If you haven't subscribed already, I really, really appreciate it if you did. And you can join me on my other social networks. All of the links are below. I'm pretty much at slash beauty on all of them. Bye guys.